Hi, I'm Ken Sherman, senior editor here at CNET.com. Today, I take a first look at the beta version of Apple iOS 5. It will run on the iPhone 3GS, it will run on the iPad, and then it will run on the iPod Touch as well. I'm going to start off with notifications because that's one of the more exciting ones. Luckily, Apple has taken a page from Android's book, actually. Of course, Apple does it differently by a pull down menu. So you just take the top of the screen, you pull down, and you'll see all your notifications. You'll see missed calls, you'll see missed emails. Apple added a couple new things, though. You do see a weather, current weather. You can see a stock ticker. So really nice to see those notifications updates. It's just something Apple has needed to do for a while and great to see it. Uh, next feature is newsstand. This is very similar to iBooks. Looks very much like the iBooks icon. You can go there, you can see all your magazines in one place and then as new magazine subscriptions come in, so as new issues come out, they'll be downloaded to the phone automatically. Really nice there. Do have better Twitter integration on iOS 5? You can uh, tweet a photo straight from the photo application. So once you take a photo, you can do it all from the photo. So that's really nice. You can also do things like add a location. You can sync Twitter with your contacts list. And you can tweet directly from YouTube, Safari, and Maps. So nice to see there. Uh, we also have a new Reminders app. Now that enables you to do sort of like a to-do list. And you can put them all in one thing. They'll send you reminders as you need to. The reminders also can be tied to your locations. So that's a neat feature. Camera controls. A couple things you'll be able to do is you'll be able to, uh, you, can, you can see grid lines when you're taking a photo. You can pinch to zooms. And then once you take a photo, you'll get camera editing features. Not a real extensive amount of these, but you can do things like crop, you can rotate, you can do red eye reduction. So nice to see there. And again, that's just from the photo gallery application. iMessage, uh, this is a brand new feature. It's very similar to BlackBerry Messenger. So it's a free messaging application. You can do group messaging. You can send multimedia messages. So you can send videos or photos. And so just another feature to keep in contact and uh, more for messaging. One of the best things is PC free. This enables you to activate your iPhone and do software updates without plugging the iPhone into your computer. So that's a great thing. thing. Inside the email, we'll have a few options. You'll be able to flag messages. You'll have a rich text format among other things, better indentation, and the ability to drag addresses between your two CC and BCC line. Uh, also, in the mail application, you can search within the body of emails rather than just the subject to and from line. So another good addition. Finally, in the Safari browser, you'll be able to uh, add links to a read later list. Also have a reader, app, reader feature that will strip down all the junk on a web page and just give it a nice clean format. Other things you will see is you'll get a split keyboard for the iPad, you get a revamped music app for the iPad. Also in Game Center, you can buy games directly from Game Center. And Apple did say they will have 200 new features in iOS 5, so they only really went through 10 of them, and I mentioned a few of those 10 here. iOS 5 is a smaller update. Hopefully this sets us up for something bigger down the road and sets us up for a new hardware, maybe hopefully in the fall of 2011. I'm Kent German. Here are the first look at iOS 5.